If Tony didn't want her glasses broken, then why did she pile them up like that? He's coming! Everyone in position! And then, just as we practiced, I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus. May Tetanus be with us. Hey, Rufus! Wait a minute! Not now, Wenzel. I have more important things to do than to listen to your squeaking. You're still a jack-o'-lantern, just the same. Hey, Lotto. Call me! <coughs> Call me Lottie! <laughs> so you're really a lady now? Why? What's... <coughs> what, what's wrong with that? Did I say there was anything wrong with that? On the contrary, congratulations on this bold step. You know, to be honest, I've always had the feeling there was a great woman somewhere inside of you. You calling me fat? What? No! Oh. Sorry, I just feel so insecure. This is such a big step into the unknown. Don't worry, big steps have always been your trademark. Hey, it'll be totally awesome if... Oh, it would be totally awfully sweet of you if you gave me a leg up with an honest evaluation. Sure, as long as it's not a leg over. <laughs> <laughs> so... Is there anything about the new me that could do with improving? Uh, let me think. You don't have a bust. Rufus, control those wandering eyes! It's very... Unbecoming! Could be, but where would Lotto have looked? Put your hand on your heart and tell me it's not half a dirty turnip too close. Mm, you're right. Maybe I should... Remove the underwire from my manly men's corset. I've been constricted by this symbol of androcracy for long enough. <clears throat> Here, be a sweetheart and get this thing out of my sight! Is there anything else? I think you're fine the way you are. Oh, you charmer. Right. Later, Gator. Uh, <clears throat> oh, <laughs> I meant, of course, uh, my deepest respect, ma'am. Toodle-o! And... Whoop. Oh, sorry, miss. What? No way. I did everything exactly the same as last time. Well, it's not easy to reproduce a great game just like that. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Hi there, Snuggle Bunny. <sighs> Enough talk. Let's go. Yeah, why not? What? No cynical comments, no doubt, no venomous jibes? And not today. I've just about had enough of this place. I can hardly wait to get out of here. Come on, Titch. I still have to pack my crystal glasses and say bye to Pops. <laughs> Precisely. This time, nothing did happen to the glasses. What do you mean? this time. Well, that's that's nothing you need to worry your pretty head about. The main thing is the glasses are safe and sound, right? Yeah. That would be better for you. Much better. Well, this is gonna be one fun balloon trip. <laughs> ah, shut your pie hole. My name is Leonardo Alfonso Miguel Garcia de... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rat Boy works. No one can remember all that nonsense. Nonsense? 
My name has won prizes. Rat, 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 rat. He's the rat boy. Uh, why is everyone so mean to me? <laughs> Aren't you allowed to play with the other rats? If, if, if you mean the rotten fruit cane, I'd love to, but I'm still too young. That's right, Rufus. The rotten fruit game can only be played by adults. Did I step in a cricket nest or something? I keep hearing this chirruping from somewhere around my ankle. So you want to be a rat man? Well, not really. Then I have just the thing for you. Well, what? What are you doing? That's not going to hold like that. Hmm. True, the plan still needs a little fine tuning. I'll be right back. And don't you go sneaking off into the sewers. Come on, hurry up. So, you got something to say to me? Uh, on to Elysium? I mean, about broken glass. Sheesh, <laughs> broken glass. <laughs> it uh, brings good luck, no? You mean like the luck of having a completely intact lower jaw? Gonna have to disappoint you there. Ouch! Tony! I'm disappointed in you, Rufus. I always thought you'd be the one to bring a breath of fresh air into this dump. But I got it all wrong. You make the same mistakes again and again and again. It was entertaining the first two or three times, but where's thin by the fourth? Have a great time with your next attempt to reach Elysium, Rufus. If you need me, I'll be with my dad. And for one last time, keeping the fire extinguisher. Damn it! All because of that damned elephant again. Where's Tuck anyway? He was supposed to keep an eye on things. You just can't trust anyone for anything around here anymore. Huh. There they are. The shards of a dysfunctional relationship. Was it really too much to ask for you to prevent this debacle, Kowalski? I have no idea how this could have happened. I think that elephant is just too darn clever for us. Ah, hogwash. They haven't hatched the elephant that could put one over on old Rufus. Hey, Rufus. Not now, Macomb Pickle. I have other things on my mind. Bit of girlfriend trouble? Ex-girlfriend. Thanks for that. Oh, geez, Louise. And that's my fault? Uh, exactly. Because it wouldn't have happened otherwise. Oh, dear. That's just so wrong. Don't worry. I have a new plan that should iron out this damned crease in time once and for all. Why? What are you planning? I think we went at the whole thing ass backwards. This is a crime scene. There have to be clues, traces. With my criminological skill and your Watson ability, we'll have this case solved before the elephant can say, Please, let's not stick around here for too long. That elephant could still be close by. I sure hope so. I'll put a knot in its trunk so that it never forgets what happens when you mess with Rufus. It is definitely still here. I'm completely certain now. Whatever you saw there is traveling through time. So that's why it's always one step ahead of us. Or behind. Difficult to say. I think I'm feeling sick again. Drink up, Tuck. Time to hunt elephant. Hmm? Strange. The shard glows here. Really? Then there's got to be a radiation source close by. Wait. Well, hello there. Aha! Uh -huh. Elephant skin. As far as I know, elephants don't shed their skins. Yeah, yeah. First you refused to believe in pink elephants, and now all of a sudden you're an expert. Well, to me, that just looks like an ordinary bit of cloth. And the mysterious glow? My guess is tachyon radiation. 
It happens when matter is moved backwards through time. I'm measuring traces of it in the whole area here, and the broken shard has shifted it into the visible spectrum. Look, if I wanted a lecture, I'd buy myself a ticket for the university. There are no tickets to get to university, merely the numerous clauses. Right. And on Junker's Eve, he comes flying over the roofs, bringing gifts. I mean, if that's the kind of crap you teach your students... Wait a minute. Did you say traces? Did I say that? Yes, of course. We can use the shard to make the tassel worm radiation visible. Come on, I have an idea. A secret lever. Gentlemen, I present the secret elephant hideout. Okay, seriously, Mac, how do you always do that da 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 thing? Huh? Dad, whatever. There are more important secrets to reveal. Stay behind me. That must be the remains of the abandoned mall. Emphasis on abandon. Exactly. There's no one here. Let's go. One moment. You see that tunnel there? The specimen has used it, and it wasn't that long ago. Then maybe it's still here. Hurrah. Let's go. I'll go this way. McChronicle, you take the other path. And what about me? Yeah, you guard the entrance. What? Alone? Am I at least going to be given a weapon? What kind of weapon? Well, any weapon. I've been beaten up enough for one day. Oh, uh, don't be too hard on him. He's a good lad. He is not. You only like him because he's your best customer. Oh, he, he normally just puts everything on your tab. Talking of which, how's your store doing? <sighs> Ding dong. Am I uh, interrupting by any chance? No, you do it on purpose. Kid gloves, Rufus. <laughs> I don't want naked flames in my store. Don't worry, Bernard. I'm, uh, I'm, ca I'm, you know, I'm thingy. Uh, careful? Uh, no, the other one. Might be a good idea for you to talk to Tony. I don't particularly want to be accused of being in cahoots with you against her again. <laughs> yeah, she can be a real handful when she's like this. Well, she's got that from her mother. What are you two whispering about? Oh, uh, nothing, darling. <laughs> uh, I was just pointing out to Rufus that... I don't approve of his behavior towards you. Hmm. Traitor. <laughs> Sorry. You know what she's like? Hey, Tony. Oh, 
It wasn't me. Oh, really? So you didn't swap my toothpaste for shoe polish? Oh, so that's toothpaste. Or the cake for the Schwinowitz wedding for a foam glue replica? Again, not me. Or the bear trap in the refrigerator. Was that someone else, too? No, that was me. Someone had to do something about the mysterious cake exchange. And your theory was that a bear was raiding our refrigerator at night. And he sold your diary to Wenzel. Precisely. And I'm sure the glasses are the bear's fault, too, right? No, no. That really wasn't me. So who was it? This is all McChronicle's fault. Who the heck is McChronicle? Some guy with a time machine. I'm jealous. Could you ask him to turn time back so that I don't have to listen to you lie anymore? Well, Tuck was supposed to watch out. You let a hobo look after my most valuable possession? Well, at least he knows all about glasses, right? <sighs> it was a pink elephant. <sighs> I'm not sure what's more disappointing, that you broke the glasses or that you aren't even making the slightest effort with your excuses. The pink elephant really exists. Uh, Rufus, I could see you're trying very hard to smooth things over, but uh, could I suggest that you keep quiet about the elephant story for now? You're just making it worse. Nah, it may appear that way to a layman. In reality, I'm just taking a run up. I blame society. You blame society for breaking my grandma's glasses? Oh, oh, that's what this is all about. I thought we were talking about adolescents' attention spans. It's your own fault. Excuse me? You heard me. Who comes up with the bright idea to build a pyramid of crystal glasses in the middle of the street? Don't change the subject. That's as lame an excuse as why are they called fire dogs then? Or why build a junior school next to a hardware store? Playing the blame game won't solve the problem. Just like you. Don't you think you're exaggerating a little? I mean, that really wasn't the worst thing I've ever done. The problem is not so much what you did this time, but more the fact that you keep doing it again and again and again. You just never learn. And what's worse is that it's rubbing off on me. I'm making the same mistake over and over too. Thinking that overalls flatter your figure? Forgiving you! Oh. Oh. The fact of the matter is, our relationship is going round in circles. You're going round in circles. I did once think you were utterly unique. Someone who was really different. But at some point, the constant stream of you trashing completely functional things becomes just another one of those things. The glasses weren't all that great anyhow. You almost never get them out. And they've gone a little milky. I could say the same thing about your eyeballs. I'll let you talk if you let me smash them. Does that mean you're not coming to Elysium with me? There's no way we'd get there anyway. Since we've been together, the success rate of your ingenious plans has been the only constant in my life. A straight zero. But I'm gradually beginning to miss my old constants. Like the number of walls I own, for instance. Originally, four. Or the number of hours a day that the kitchen was not on fire. That used to be 24. Now you're being unfair. You still have lots of constants. Five fingers. Two legs, two parents. Okay. Oh, you're really scaring me. Say something, Bernard. I'm afraid you're on your own there, buddy. <laughs> but no sweat. You'll do just fine. True. If reconciliation was a martial art, I'd have more black belts than a menswear store. Oh, <laughs> you sure have training. I'll straighten this all out, and then you'll apologize. Not this time, Rufus. I'm fed up with going to the mayor for you. Ah, a well-functioning faucet. Uh, Rufus, do you think you could stop pouring accelerant into the basement of my fireworks shop? I store highly explosive stuff down there. <sighs> if I have to. No one should ever say I'm uncooperative. Rufus, you can't simply dismantle the tap from that tank of accelerant. Sure I can, look! But now it's all pouring into the basement. Oh boy, 
You know, it seemed like such a good idea at the start. But no problem. I can fix this. Do you have an angle grinder? Oh, you know what? Uh, uh, just leave it for the moment. I'll sort it out later. You're on fire, Burnett. and I don't even have any cactus bread with me. As if I hadn't used enough honeyed words on Lottie already. So you want to be a rat man? Oh, not really. Then I have just the thing for you. So, how does that feel? Silly. Adult. Exactly. So please behave accordingly. Well then. Let the games begin! Do you have someone to play against? Uh, of course. This adult rat man here. That's not allowed. It's a game for adults. I am an adult. Precisely. You can tell by the thick beard. You forget that I've been standing next to you the whole time? That is not his beard. What could be more masculine than stealing a stranger's beard? I say he plays. You can't go over my head and decide that. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Uh, to be honest, it's a bit high up for me. <sighs> okay. He can play. Oh, boy! Uh, I, I mean... Oh, man. On your marks. Rotten fruit at the ready. And... Place! Well now, Rufus has won. Wait, I demand a rematch. Ha! <laughs> Forget it. If I remember correctly, children aren't even allowed to play. And I just happen to know that behind this admittedly rather convincing costume hides a small, ugly boy. Hey! Hey, nothing. Rules are rules. Bring on the jackpot! <laughs> Whoopsie. That was on purpose. Oh, just you wait. Ouch. That stupid rat ate my hunting license. Oh, what bad luck. That was my last. Bad luck? Maybe. In any case, the rat man smiled knowingly. His work here was done. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing, nothing. On the contrary, you wear it like a man, rat man. Maybe this will help with your leg hair. Hmm. It's worth a try. Ah! What pain! What agony! Hey, when you're done acting like a sissy, can I borrow your razor? Here! Ah! Here! Take it! I don't need it anymore. Not unless I can feel my legs again anyway. Hold still. What? Hey, stop! So, how does that feel, Rat Boy? Uh, what happened to Rat Man? A lot of people ask that question. He was only in town for a short while, and was gone as quick and as quiet as he came. But his brief presence left deep teeth marks in their hearts. <laughs> Hmm. 
the rat ate my hunting license. Why the long face? You used your hunting license to catch a rat. That's what it's for. And small animals are tricky. Even professionals will resort to high-precision blowpipes for them. Why would I need more proof? You are a genuine, dyed-in-the-wool big game hunter. Really? Of course. You can borrow the elephant gun anytime you like. Wow, thanks. And when I'm finished grilling here, we can share hunting tales. We'll plat rabbit feet into our hair and compare hunting scars. Eh, too bad. I already have plans. Can I borrow your elephant gun? Well, now that you're a big game hunter too, of course. Why not? Just be careful with that. Too late. You already said. What's that meant to be? Something that uh, proves I'm a big game hunter, perhaps? Well, it reminds me a bit of a high-precision blowpipe for small game hunting. And elephants? Ha! If you were a big game hunter, then you would know that elephants are child's play. Professionals hunt small animals, ducks, or rats. You need something like a high-precision blowpipe for that. Much more precise. Unfortunately, I'm clean out of darts and blowpipes and bees for the nerve poison. Blowpipe, darts, bees. Got it. So let's have a look at what you've brought me. As a blowpipe, it's a pretty miserable example. But it would probably do for a talented big game hunter. As soon as you bring me the rest, I'll give you your blowpipe. What's that meant to be? Part of a high-precision blowpipe, maybe? Let the expert be the judge of that. Those are good bees. Just right for a high-precision blowpipe. As soon as you bring me the rest, I'll give you your blowpipe. What's that meant to be? Part of a high-precision blowpipe, maybe? Let the expert be the judge of that. That's a decent dart, just right for a high-precision blowpipe. Now we've got everything together. Here is your blowpipe. Have fun with it. Hey, keep your hands off. Those are the darts championship winnings. Oops. <laughs> oh well, whatever works. So, how did that go again? Da, whatever. Worked this way the first time. Killbot mold! Ah. All humans must be exterminated! Ah. Ouch! What's going on? Where is Chillbot? Chillbot can't help you! That loser mold can only be activated during throttle use. Before I let you throttle me, I'll throttle you! <laughs> Lowering killbot brutality levels. Mold. Whoa. Oh, that's better. Now, I just have to figure out how to activate the chillbot mode. Can't be that difficult. There are only three levers. Killbot mold. Killbot mold. Grillbot mold. Come it closer and warm yourself in the fire of your friendly barbecue assistant. Ill-bot mode. <coughs> Better not come too close. What? But... Oh, man. Shouldn't this setting activate Chillbot? Well, in theory, yes. But the throttling has given me a chronic processor malcooling. 
Oh, man. So all I have to do to activate Chillbot is remove the throttle limiter. That would be <laughs> very kind. Grillbot mode? Grillbot mode? Grillbot mode? Grillbot mode. <laughs> Grillbot mode. Grillbot mode. Grillbot mode. Flooring killbot brutality level mode. Whoa. Huh. Oh, that's better. Now. Can't be that, but there are only three levers. Thrillbot mode. Welcome to the subtle pain dimension. Ah, ouch! What's going on? Have a little with far more suffering will be inflicted on you, human life. Thrillbot mode! Hello, what's happening to me? I'm suddenly feeling much stronger, as if I could squeeze your windpipe shut with one hand. Uh, wait, just a oh, just a mistake. Uh, oh. oh shame. Thrillbot! Oh. Hello, what's happening to me? I'm suddenly... Like Step, wait! Step. Oh, oh. Killbot mode! Grillbot mode? Grillbot mode? Grillbot mode? Killbot mode! Killbot mode! Thrillbot mode! Thrillbot mode! Killbot mode! Thrillbot mode! Uh, no, that's locked in place. Thrillbot mode! <laughs> Chillbot mode! Just lean back and enjoy the cool atmosphere, man. Finally. Ah, uh, thanks, man. That was real necessary. Professor Rufus presents the Miracle of Heat Exchange. Sweet! I always used to make potato astronauts. <laughs> I think I still have the touch. Did I say potato astronauts? No, I meant ear protectors. What's going on? Why aren't you playing? We haven't learned that song off by heart yet. And without light, we can't see the music. Then why not play something you know by heart? Hmm. I think I can come up with something. Our hit, Rudy's Dental Work Went Wrong. <laughs> oh, please don't. I've already had to put up with that howling long enough. Still, much better than having to gaze at your mug all day. Hey! Do you think that I suffer from ear potatoes? Are those by any chance ear protectors? Wow! Thanks! You can imagine how much that band's incessant noodling is getting on my nerves. Come on, play Rudy's dental work. Rudy! Rudy! You heard it, labs. Our fans are clamoring for Rudy. A one, a two, a one, two, three, and whatever comes after three.
Not yet. First, the gun needs a little powder. Now all that's missing is ammunition, and a way to cram everything into the barrel. So, now all that needs to be done is stuff everything into the barrel. Ha! Huh. Done! Let the elephant come! Corporal Tuck, you stay here and guard the entrance. Hang on. Is that a weapon? You wanted a weapon, but I'm, um, a pacifist. <sighs> Above all, you're an especially easy target for someone with a loaded gun and badly strained patience. A, a weapon with which I can guard the entrance. <laughs> uh, about time. How thoughtful of you to dig this thing out in order to slowly pass it over to me now. But end first. So, finally rid of all your worries and fears? Well... Excellent! Then move out before our bloodthirsty ghost elephant grows fangs. <laughs> He's kidding, right? It can't be ruled out completely. So, find anything? Nothing. And there were no side turnings either. <sighs> Same here. Then we have obviously arrived too late. Not so fast. Maybe it used this ladder to get away. An elephant that can climb ladders? Oh, God, you have no imagination whatsoever. Aha! So this is where that goes. Very clever. And? Any idea where that... Elephant? Uh, gone. But now we know where its hideout is. We could go back to the past and trap it. I'm not so sure. Do we have enough time for that? Uh, time is your department. Can't we just rewind it a little bit further? Then... I can build the trap right before I help you park. I can try. I think I might still have a strengthener on the bed, but it won't give us much. Not much is way more than I expected from you. Time to put on my winner face. We have a plan! What a nightmare! I dreamt of the end of the world! And then I went on an elephant hunt. Although, was that even really a dream? It seemed so real. Better safe than sorry. Maybe I should concentrate on building an elephant trap. True. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. And? You finished the elephant trap yet? <gasps> then it wasn't a dream. Of course not. Don't tell me you've only just woken up. You've had the whole day to do this. Yeah, I overslept, okay? I mean, these things happen. But I had to drive all the way from Puerto Rustica again. D don't have a cow. The, the, the trap is as good as finished.
away with that. These things have blocked my view of the oxyhydrogen vents long enough. That's exactly what I need for my elephant trap. On the other hand, it wasn't all that useful. Pretty cool set of antlers. Ha! Bullseye! Yeah. And Tony always criticizes my accuracy with the toilet seat. Not exactly the best spot for an outhouse, but when you gotta go, you gotta go. I want to build an elephant trap, not a snare for walker pilots. I've been practicing the lasso number long enough. The trap is set. That destructive pachyderm is about to get the surprise of his little pink life. What? Are you finished already? Did I have a choice? You've taken far too long. Yeah, but all this fuss was for one purpose and one purpose only. So that you didn't run over those glasses. And now you can all of a sudden park perfectly without my help? That? is connected to the complexities of time travel. Difficult to explain, even more difficult to understand. Ah, you had the rearview mirrors set wrong, didn't you? I'll happily drive in again if you like. Nah, forget it. Doesn't matter. Hey, Mac, do you have a minute? Given the context, would you like to rephrase that question? I'll take that as a yes. See you sooner or later. Neither can be ruled out. If Tony didn't want her glasses broken, then why did she pile them up like that? And? I am not going through that again. It isn't necessary either. And now, while I go pick Tony up, Biff Buff, the trunk is off. It's gonna go horribly wrong, isn't it? And how? The trap is set. He's coming! Everyone in position! And then, just as we practiced, I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus. May Tetanus be with us. Hey, Rufus! Not now, Jack-o'-lantern. Hi there, Snuggle Bunny. <sighs> Enough talk. Let's go. Yeah, why not? What? No cynical comments? No doubt? No venomous jibes? And not today. I've just about had enough of this place. I can hardly wait to get out of here. Come on, Titch. I still have to pack my crystal glasses and say bye to Pops. <laughs> Precisely. This time, nothing did happen to the glasses. What do you mean, 
this time. Well, that's, that's nothing you need to worry your pretty head about. The main thing is the glasses are safe and sound, right? Yeah, that would be better for you. Much better. Well, this is gonna be one fun balloon trip. <laughs> ah, shut your pie hole. Tony, no! Don't let the elephant out! It's a vile monster! <sighs> Rufus, have a real close look at your elephant. Well, notice anything? Well, I noticed the fact that whoever built this trap must have been a genius. I mean about the elephant. Oh! Uh, now I see it. It looks just like a Drexican piñata. Do you think it'll explode in a shower of candy if I hit it? Ouch! It worked! Candy's all over the place! But, wait a minute. I'd know these candies anywhere. Aren't these the same ones your mom always has? That's no elephant. That's your mom. You don't say. Just don't hit me too hard, okay? Wait up. Right. <gasps> I'll give you exactly one sentence. It was just a crazy coincidence. I reckoned with a, a fat pink elephant and, uh, well, look for yourself. That was your sentence? Oh, that's what I wanted to say. Tony, you forgot to break my nose! Pow! Broken! Cry! Laugh! Forgive! <laughs> Tony? What's happened? No panic, I have everything under control. Well, it sure doesn't look like it. If anything, your girlfriend looks even angrier than before. I said I have things under control, okay? But the timeline! To hell with your stupid timeline! I'm dealing with some real problems in the real world. Got that, Dumbledolt? This is a nightmare. Forget it, Pops. Nothing you can say will make me change my mind. Oh, uh, that's what your mother said back then, too. It was the words, fresh cookies, that finally clinched it. Knocky, knocky. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rufus. <laughs> Hello, Bernard. How bad is it this time? Oh, I'd say we're on a 9.8. Make it around 10. So you are speaking with me. Then it can't be that bad after all. Oh, oh come on, Tony. Let's just kiss and make up, okay? What? Not even a... <laughs> you have to admit, your mother does look a lot like a pink elephant. Uh, Rufus? <laughs> Perhaps you should just... Give her a moment. No panic. I'll take care of it. Come on, go ahead and scream at me. Then we'll have it all behind us. Rufus, you're such an idiot. But a handsome idiot that I just can't resist. <laughs> <laughs> the handsome idiot. After all, the glasses are still intact. What? Doesn't that count for anything? Then why did I go to so much trouble to avoid breaking them? Fresh cookies? It's not working! Why isn't it working? <laughs> oh, oh, having a clue! You got any sugar cubes on you? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. There, I said it. Happy now? You just don't get it, do you? You can't constantly burn all your bridges and then expect that everything will continue as before. At some point, it's over. And that point is now. But that's what this is all about. Everything's ready. We can finally leave for Elysium to New Horizons. This isn't a new horizon. It's the same stupid horizon as last time and the time before. And in the end, it'll just turn out to be a dead end. And that's where you're wrong. I happen to know for sure that I will make it. I've seen it, but not with you. Oh, no. I'm going to meet an Elysian woman, one who understands me. Uh, Rufus, 
So, surprised, aren't you? This time I'm the one breaking it off. So there, find yourself another idiot to tolerate you and your nagging. You tolerated me. Uh-oh. Precisely, but my patience is at an end. You tolerated me! Oh, Tony, uh, calm down. Ah! My goodness gracious, Gumbo! This is a catastrophe! R relax! Tony has always had this tendency to go for spontaneous self-combustion. Let's just turn back to time again. Or, uh, you know what? We'll just forget it. The Chrono Car! What have we done? We have irreparably changed the course of history! Calm down. Tony wouldn't have come anyway. In my vision, the fight went about the same, except for one or two minor details. What? <laughs> In addition, you really don't want the story to play out. Believe me. It was a pretty stupid story. Didn't even have a happy ending. But we agreed that this vision could only have been a dream. Why? Because it's impossible to recall events from the future? That? Uh, oh. Exactly. I bet all of this has happened before. My plans for getting to Elysium, the fight with Tony, and my having saved the world. You did what? S save the world? Not yet, and the jury's still out on whether I want to do it again. Oh, my dear Aunt Dora, how could I have been so stupid? Precisely. You might want to think about your mistakes. In the meantime, I'm going to Elysium. This time I'm not letting anyone spoil my happy ending. I can't help myself. I think my little faux pas was perfectly understandable. And away we go! Elysium, here I come! Ugh. What are you doing? Rufus, you hostile pest! You're trying to kill me! That's plan B! But we can gladly skip a phase if you want! You wait! That's the last time you'll see Tony! I'm gonna forbid her to ever meet up with you again! Go ahead! I'm done with her anyway! Just like everything else here! Now you just have to let go! Are you crazy? I'll break every bone in my body! Ha! <laughs> With all that fat? Not likely. <sighs> Let go! Over your dead body! And now we anchor! <laughs> <laughs> bon voyage, you harpy! <laughs> what did you say? I said it! I can't hear you! The balloon is on fire, you dopeless! <laughs> the balloon is on fire! <laughs> oh. Oh! Rufus! Where's he gone? Stop him! Get the torches, men! Uh-oh. They're pretty pissed off. I think it's time to make tracks. Yikes! Be not afraid, Rufus. We have common peace. Oh, really? Then why are you constantly terrorizing me? Everything must happen exactly how it happened before. Well, you can forget that. And anyway, what's with this stupid getup? We have selected our appearance to be comprehensible to human understanding. I think you should have got better advice. See? I told you that this getup was a fourth mix idea. Only because you are constantly breaking character. We could swap. I'm certain you'd be the better Elephant Krishnaks. 
Hello? I hate to interrupt, but I have an urgent date with Elysium. No, that must not happen. Everything must stay exactly as it always has been. You mean as it was always was meaning to be meant. As it has always been. <laughs> <laughs> bon voyage, Wumbo and Dumbo. Rufus, the elephant, I mean, uh, the, 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 the time traveler, it's here again. Uh, it was. He had to go again. Well, then it must have left something behind. My readings are conclusive. It's as if the gate had been opened. There he is, up ahead. Get him. Gate sounds good. I hope it has a drawbridge and murder holes on the battlements. What the heck? So, Professor Goatee can't believe his eyes, huh? Now that's what I call a time machine. What a parking job. Just leave your protractor in your pocket until we've shaken off the lynch mob. With a heavy heart. Wow, that looks complicated. Traveling through time is not exactly the same as changing a fuse. Ah, where we're going, we don't need fuses. You know how to turn that stuff on? Heavens no. It would theoretically take months of analysis to do that. Theoretically, maybe. But this, my temporal friend, is practical. Watch and learn. <laughs> That's Elysium! Luck's finally on my side! Now we can only hope that this is where you set the destination and not the target for the Tatiana Torch Dogs. That doesn't really seem to make any difference. There, I got it up and running. I hope you know what you're doing. Of course I do. I'm guessing. Whoa, 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 whoa. And now, full speed ahead! Whoa! Oops, guess that was reverse. Please be careful. My motion sickness. Yeah, yeah. Relax while you hold on tight. Yeah! That <gasps> That's Elysium! I actually made it! According to the display, it is a future Elysium. It doesn't matter which Elysium. I don't know anyone here anyhow. Although, there was this woman in my vision. How far into the future are we? Difficult to say. One year? Two at the most? Excellent! Then her skin shouldn't have started to go all slack yet. Is that really your only worry? Of course not! At the moment, I'm kind of worried about getting a good spot by the pool. What? We can't simply... Eh. Wrong. You can't. I can. And I will. Have fun turning those knobs, loser!